Good morning and uh, welcome back to 7750 Global Media and Publishing. This is Prophet Escapes coming to you for the first time in the year 2024. Today is Saturday and it's the 10th of February 2024. On the Hebrew calendar, it is the first of Ada. 5784. On the Hebrew calendar this year, the 12th month of Ada is divided into two. It's Ada 1 and it's Ada 2. But it is the first day of the 12th month. And I love the number 12 because it also correlates with the zodiacal sign, the star sign of Pisces. And I was born in Pisces. Pisces is a water sign and it is symbolized by twin fish. But I haven't really had any unction to do any YouTube video. And in fact, even my writing dwindled to very little from the time I stopped doing the YouTube videos in December until now. I didn't realize all of that time that whilst I was talking about Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and on one of the last videos that I did last year during 2023, I mentioned the name of Kate Middleton. I didn't know that it was really because God was, <laughs> was homing in on the house of Windsor, Buckingham Palace, and the monarchy of England. Obviously, I said everything that I said at that time, and then the Lord shut me down, because from the beginning of January, scandal really hit the house of Windsor. And it was through US judge, Loretta Preska ordering the release of documents from the defamation lawsuit between Virginia Jufre and Ghislaine Maxwell. And the articles that I read about the Epstein list and the scandals of Prince Andrew were published on the 4th of January 2024. Now, God is very intentional and deliberate. In fact, the Bible calls him an extraordinary strategist. And you can read that in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 in the Net Bible. A lot has been going on, but I only started working on this particular video yesterday. As in, that's when God started giving me material. Yesterday was the 9th of February. And it was the last day of the 11th month of Shabbat on the Hebrew calendar. Why is that important? Because right now we are still in the 11th Zodiacal sign, the zodiac sign, the star sign of Aquarius. And it is concurrent with the 11th month on the Hebrew calendar. I've spoken about the number 11 many times before, stating that when Joseph was sold into slavery and was away from his brothers, the family of Jacob went into chaos and into disintegration. After Joseph had been given a mantle of favor, a coat of many colors by his father, Jacob. So literally during the month of Shabbat, the 11th month, there has been chaos at Buckingham Palace. In Genesis 37, verse 35, I read it in the New Century version, but you can read it in any version that you like. I think right now I'm going to take it from the voice. Jacob goes into a bit of depression, in fact, into a lot of depression after his son has been sold into slavery because he thinks that his son is dead, his son Joseph. I'll take it from verse 34. Then Jacob wailed in agony and tore his clothes with the depth of emotional pain only a father 
could feel upon losing a child. He dressed in sackcloth and mourned for his son for a long time. All of his sons and daughters tried to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. In verse 34, he is called Jacob, but later on, it now says, this is what Israel says. He says, no, I will go to the grave grieving for my son. Israel is inconsolable. His grief over his son transcends even death itself. This is how deeply Joseph's father grieved for him. And there's a reason why I've had to go back to Joseph again. Yesterday, the 9th of February, 2024, was the 60th birthday of one of the sisters of the law. And remember, I have been talking about God and the families of the law. And I said that God will execute his judgments on those that are under the law using his law or his laws. Nobody is above the laws of God. Not King Charles III and not any er earthly being. Not any president. Nobody. There is only one king that God considers to be anything to him and that is Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. The Messiah. So now after information has been released about the Duke of York participating in sex orgies allegedly with underage girls on the Epstein Island with his friend Jeffrey Epstein, it just went from bad to worse. Kate Middleton's been in hospital, she's had some operations, she's been out of public, public view, nobody really understands what's going on. And um, Camilla the witch, they call her Queen Camilla, but trust me, Queen, Camilla is no queen to me. She's a Jezebel, that's what I call her, Jezebel. Is running the show on behalf of her husband, King Charles III, who has now been diagnosed with cancer. Now, I was saying that the articles on the Duke of York that were released in the 11th month of Shabbat during the time of Capricorn, so let's call it the goat of Capricorn, right at the beginning of the year with Buckingham Palace consumed in these scandals of the brother of the king, the ones that God highlighted to me were released on the 4th of January 2024. And the 4th of January 2024 was the 58th birthday of the brother of the sister of the law that I have been speaking about just now, saying yesterday was his 60th birthday. And because it was her birthday yesterday, all of a sudden, just, you know, God poured his spirit and he said to me, start working on YouTube again. And so then I, you know, I obviously now had to sit and say to him, okay, God, Lord, what would you have me do? And I found myself picking up my phone. I opened Facebook and I really don't care about social media, but I opened Facebook and there was an article there from Charisma magazine and it talked about a prophecy on King Charles III that was released by a prophet called Joseph Z. I've never heard of this particular prophet before, but there I was. So I found the YouTube video of Joseph Z, where he talks about what, ha what happens in, in Las Vegas, will not stay in Las Vegas, and then he goes into this prophecy about King Charles III. And what I found compelling to listen to and to take note of was what he said about Prince William taking, succeeding his father on the throne. Because these are his words and you can find it for yourself if, you, if you're interested in what um, Prophet Joseph Z said. He said, first he was shown King Charles's one son, the prince, who's not really his son. And then he was shown the other one. And then he goes into a word about Prince William. 
I thought I didn't hear right, so I I went back into the video again to listen to what he said. And he said, no, he was shown the one son who's not really King Charles' son. And then he was shown the other one, the heir to the throne, that is Prince William. And that is all very well because it fits in with what God is doing right now. And I noted here and I said, whatever is about to happen will indeed play out like a soap opera. So we will see how this soapy turns out. And remember, I started my YouTube channel during the month of September 2023. And the entire time, I talked about Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, how he has weakened the monarchy in England with his sex scandals. I didn't know that God was about to totally shame them and send them into the chaos and the mess they, th they are in right now. But there's something bigger and more that God is doing now. Because I have pointed out before, or I will point out now, if I haven't before, that when Joseph said, says that he was shown the first son, who's not really his son, obviously he's referring to Prince Harry. And from the very first day when I started on my videos, I said, I am working on Isaiah 22, verse 22, and Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, and that is the key of David. The key of David opens doors and it closes doors. I don't choose the content that I will talk about on the platform of 7750. And this is why if God shuts me down for a season, I have to keep quiet for a season. I have to pray and I have to take instructions. And I have to hearken unto his voice. So anyway, so we've got our local Duke, Duke of Maseru, in the likeness of Prince Andrew. And God is going somewhere with that vision. I don't just speak these things because, well, you know, it's funny. It's not. In fact, on that note, good shot. Here is one of my props for today. As you can see, my hair has now gone blonde. So we're going blonde. Marilyn Monroe was a blonde bombshell. Princess Diana was also known for her blonde hair. What else? Oh yes, this is my old laptop with a hot pink cover. I've mentioned before how the family of the law, because they think that they are the smartest doctors on this planet, when they were coming after me and they were going to use the ill-begotten domestic violence protection order that was granted to someone against me to do all sorts of other sinister things so that whole case was just a front for something deeper and darker what they actually wanted to do was to get rid of me and then destroy anything that i have worked on or anything that i would have published and one of the ploys was my computer then was supposed to disappear so that whatever is on my computer could be destroyed. And I don't know, I guess they were also planning to take my, my diaries because I've got millions of diaries. And why do I have millions of diaries? From the time that God took a hold of me, I started having dreams. And I did not stop for nearly four years. I was dreaming every single day, night and day. If I took a nap, even if it was five minutes, that nap would be so deep and I would be deep in dreams. And I would wake up and I would just record them in my handwriting, in my diaries and in my journals. For three years, four years, from basically 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. I had no rest, none whatsoever. 
It didn't matter what time of day I slept. It was nighttime, daytime. I was just constantly in the dreams. And a lot of the things that I saw that time in the dreams played out and it, it continues to, to play out. So anyway, where are we? Joseph said, gave his Charles III prophecy on the 4th of January, 2023. There's the 4th of January again, 2023, which was last year on the 57th birthday of this person I've just said had their 58th birthday on the 4th of January this year in the zodiac, the zodiacal sign of Capricorn. And so I call it the goat of Capricorn because in any event, the symbol of Capricorn is obviously a goat. Right. Yes. I made a note of that here. January 4, 2023, video by Joseph Z. And he also makes the point that there is only one king. His name is Jesus Christ. And so God is going to take us into a higher level of accuracy from 2024 onwards. The number 24 is very important to me because I have been married for 24 years. And 7750 Global Media and Publishing is coded 2424. That is the registration number of the entity. And one of the reasons why I have not even been able to do any work at a certain time from December to January was because the South African Revenue Service, SARS, were on my case about my personal taxes, about the taxes of 7750 and the business entities that I have registered. They were just on me, um, sending me penalty letters, sending me summonses. So I had to actually also take some time off and concentrate on that. But what that did also, as according to God's plan, because now I had to go and find out when was the last time I filed my personal taxes, who was filing them for me. I had to then also go into records of when I, and, and I did say this that in one of the videos that God will deal with certain things that happened when I was working at Mercedes-Benz and that was the last job that I had. So I had to go back to Mercedes-Benz and I had to try and get certain records for SARS because they, they wanted stuff as, they, some stuff they wanted as far back as 2007 when I was still working at Liberty Life um, because that's where I was before I went to Mercedes-Benz. So now I was trying to retrieve all that information, IRP-5s and documents related to pension funds and preservation funds that I, I had transferred from some of these entities into my preservation funds held at one of the, um, of the insurance companies. So it, it was just a mess, but this is just the thing about God. If there is a mess, you're not going to be representing him while your own staff is in chaos. I had to sort all of that out. Every single little thing. All the years that they had given me saying we need this, we need this from this year, both for my personal taxes and for my business entities, I had to go and file my tax returns. I had to appeal some of the penalties that had been that that had been compounded against against those business interests and even in my own personal capacity and until I reached a point where the matter the matters were settled with SARS and now that I've handled all of that God has been like okay now that the mess is sorted out now you can go back and so here I am again and I will go back to the conversation I had started about Kerry Washington writing a letter, uh, sorry, writing a book. So, so she authored a book titled Thicker Than Water, where she addresses the fact that the father that she thought was her biological father turned out not to be her biological father, but rather, you know, she was fathered by a sperm donor. And in a similar vein, I started this conversation last year about Prince Harry dealing with the fact that it has been alleged that his father is James Hewitt. Okay, 
I am now out of time, so I am going to have to wrap it up right here. But I will be back because this conversation is going far. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.